guys welcome back okay so today we're gonna play makeup big surprise right uh, prerequisites for being a beauty youtuber you must love makeup and you must love talking to yourself for a couple of hours <laughs> in front of a camera okay so check and check anywho uh, yeah so I'm gonna do some makeup today and I'm not sure what all I'm gonna use, but I do know that I need to use this new palette because, uh, yeah, I ordered it a while ago and it showed up this past week. This is the new Sample Beauty Equalizer palette. And yeah, like you need another rainbow palette, KK. <laughs> but this palette is really pretty, really, really pretty. Of course, it just looks like just another rainbow palette, but what they did to make this palette a little bit different is they gave you <sighs> mattes and shimmers. So it's like there's a matte side and then there's a matching shimmer for each matte. And it's really cute how they did the names for this palette because they made them kind of match up. So like this yellow is called Rubber and then the shimmer yellow is called Ducky. Get it? Rubber Ducky? <laughs> uh, no, not Ducky duck rubber duck okay I need to put my glasses on this green is called tequila and this one is called lime you know this is called vitamin and this is called C so it's really cute how they did the names and matched them up the matte and the shimmer so down the center here it's like this shimmer goes with this matte so it's called cuppa and this is tea this is touch base and this is cocoa Bean. So, very cute. I like how they did the names. Gin, Tonic, Thunder, Lightning. Very cute, very creative. Okay. So, yeah. So, I have a matte and then I have a coinciding shimmer to go with each matte, which is really cool. Now, when I got my palette, um, this came from the UK, I believe. Yeah, UK-based brand. And this, my white was broken, so I had to repress it with alcohol. And so, it looks kind of funky. But anyway, that was the only casualty that I had. Otherwise, the palette was in pristine condition. I believe I paid like 40 bucks for this. And yeah, I'm not really in the mood for a rainbow look today, but I guess uh, considering my options, we doing a rainbow look today. So let's just go ahead and jump right in because I don't want to be jibber jabbering all day. I am going to prep my lids as usual with some Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and then we'll just jump right in. Okay, so ready to go. Eyelids all prepped with my Too Faced Concealer. I'm gonna turn this light down just a little bit to help you guys see the colors a little bit better maybe, and come on in just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, so since I'm doing a rainbow look against my wheel today, <laughs> I think I'm going to, oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna start with purple. I'm gonna go ahead and do a purple crease. Maybe put some of this blue next to it with some green. Yeah, I'm just going to go in with my crease area with some mattes, so I'm gonna work that in. And of course, we're doing a cut crease today. Okay, so I'm gonna use a stiff kind of packing shadow brush for this purple. I guess I should have swatched the palette so I can get an idea of how the pigmentation is, but I'll just insert some swatches for you guys. <laughs> I'm ready to, uh, to test it out, okay? not the most pigmented purple that I've ever used um, but I'm gonna keep building it up yeah I mean it's buildable it is buildable but um, I'm not like wowed or anything by it yeah I'm definitely having to build this purple up like I said it's it's not the worst purple I've ever used but definitely not the best Okay, so yeah, I was able to build that purple up 
um, to this pigmentation. So it's not horrible, but I wouldn't say, oh, I want to do a purple look. Let me grab my equalizer palette. You know what I mean? So, okay, and that shade is called Hocus. So, of course, the shimmer is called Pocus. Now, I do want to incorporate some blue for my crease area. So, I'm going to take Jibba, this blue shade here, Jibba, and just place that next to that purple on the outer portion of my eyelid. So, it's coming off darker on my eyes than it is in the pan, you know, because I'm not working with a white base today, so I'm not surprised. It's not bad, it's decently pigmented. I want the front part to just kind of fade out, so I'm just taking a brush with no shadow on it at all and just kind of blending out the front portion of my lid. I want it to just kind of fade away. And I know you guys, some of you guys are probably like, just because it's a rainbow palette, you don't have to do a rainbow look. You can do a monochromatic look or just a, a simple look. But <laughs> the Leo in my personality will not let me pick up a palette that looks like this and do a simple look. <laughs> it's just a so won't. Nope, can't do it. Okay, so now that I have those two colors laid down, I turn my lighting down in the back a little bit too because I really want you guys to be able to see the colors for this palette. It's, it's nicely pigmented. The purple, like I said, I did have to build it up, but as you can see, the pigmentation is there. It's not bad. Okay, so now it's gonna get really crazy because I wanna incorporate some green just on the outer portion. So I'm gonna go with this light green here which is tequila. So I'm gonna take tequila and just place a little bit of that next to the blue. Y'all, I am so tired of staying in my brushes. You would think that um, I'd be over it by now, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't like staying in my brushes. You gotta be careful when using this palette. It's really easy to put your brush in the wrong color because since they have the mattes and the shimmers, you can accidentally put your brush in your shimmer if you're not paying attention and vice versa. And I just want to keep the green on the outer portion. I'm not going to drag it all the way through. But so far, it looks pretty nice. Nicely pigmented. Yeah, and I just want to keep that right there on the outer portion. I'm just gently going in with that green and blending it into that blue. I don't want any of the colors to overpower each other, so I want you to be able to see each color, you know, showing. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this crease so we can play with some of these shimmers. I'm gonna use my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and cut my crease. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into that purple, the matte purple, and just kind of blend out the edge of my cut crease before I move on. Okay, so now for the rainbow portion of this eye look, I'm gonna go into the yellow shimmer, which is called Duck, and place that on the inner portion of my lid. I'm gonna try it with my brush dry first to see how that goes. Okay. Okay, so she is applying very nicely, nicely pigmented. Don't have to wet my brush. Okay. 
And there's just a little bit of fallout, which is to be expected because I'm not wetting my brush. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the orange. And this shimmer orange is C. And I'm gonna try this without wetting my brush as well. That's very pretty as well. It's kind of like um like a lighter orange. It's not like a really deep or deep dark orange. Now I'm gonna spray my brush just to see if that makes any difference. I think it just helps it to glide on a little bit more, but as far as the pop or the shine, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. Okay, so I wanna go into something a little bit deeper hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to try out this pink. It looks fairly bright. It's called gum. So I'm assuming, yeah, so this is bubble and this is gum. So this shadow, it doesn't seem to be like a typical shimmer. It kind of seems like one of those mattes, matte slash shimmers where it's like it has glitter or a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not a typical shimmer shade. It actually feels more like a matte to me than a shimmer with just a little bit of glitter in it. So since it's more like a matte, I'm just kind of tapping it down on that cut crease canvas and blending it out. This is what happens when your husband's a food YouTuber. He brings you snacks while you're filming. <laughs> Is also why I can't lose no weight. Okay, so that color is nice and vibrant. Very pretty, but it's not a shimmer. Yeah, it's not a shimmer. It's more like a matte with a little bit of glitter in it. I'm kind of glad it's not a shimmer. Because just in case you don't know, I love mattes over shimmers any day. <laughs> shimmers are pretty, but I'm a matte girl at heart. Okay, so now I have to decide, do I wanna go in with the purple shimmer? Cause this purple does look like a shimmer or the matte since this pink is kinda. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this purple shimmer. It's Pocus. So I'm gonna go into Pocus the purple shimmer. So I'm just going in with this purple dry, I'm not wetting my brush or anything for it. It's not like one of those super duper shimmers. These, the shimmers in here, aside from, I guess, even with the yellow, the yellow is not like super duper bright as far as like shimmer goes. So these are kind of those like subdued shimmers, I would say, to where it's just not a matte, but it's not anything super bright or blinding. But I must say they are blending into each other very nicely. Okay, so we got our rainbow cut crease going on. Let me throw on some black eyeliner. You guys, I love this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. I love this stuff. It just, it makes my face just so, I don't know, I can't even describe it. It's just, ah, uh, it's so nice. If you use this stuff, your face will not be ashy no more. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer today. Just try and fill in some of these pores.
Okay, for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I haven't used this in quite a while. I've been trying out a lot of other foundations and stuff and I've come across some that I really, really like. So we're gonna dive back into this today and see if I still like it. Yep, I still like it. <laughs> like it a lot. It just gives you a nice, healthy looking coverage. It's not full coverage for me because I have a lot of issues to cover up. But for, you know, a lot of people, if you don't have a lot of issues, it definitely can be a nice, buildable, medium to full coverage. So, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, and for concealer, I'm going to use my Juvia's I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 11. I really like this stuff, you guys. If you're looking for like a serious coverage concealer or a concealer with serious coverage, this stuff is bomb. And you don't need a lot. I always put way too much. I'll be watching those tutorials from, who is it, is it Wayne Goss? Really, really, you know, excellent tutorials on makeup application and stuff. And he has these, you know, titles that's like, stop doing your concealer like a YouTuber. Stop doing your contour like a YouTuber. And I'm like, but what if I am a YouTuber? <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> so... I just find it funny when I read those titles because I'm like, I get what he's doing, you know, like you don't need all of that makeup on your face, you know. I mean, some people do, like me, but, you know, he's saying, you know, you don't need all of that stuff, you know. It's just about, you know, enhancing what you already have, bringing out your natural beauty, but I enjoy putting on makeup. I like watching myself transform, okay? Okay, see? Excellent concealer. I love this stuff, it's bomb. Powder, I'm going to use my Becca, what is this, the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love this stuff. Have not been able to stop using it, so I've had to re-up on it. <laughs> During the Sephora sale, I had to buy a backup, okay? And I would've bought a backup for my backup, but I don't do that no more. You guys will be so proud of me because I only bought two things during the Sephora sale. Two things. One of them I said I wasn't going to get, but I broke down <laughs> and got it. Only things I bought was a backup of this uh, Becca powder and the Huda, what is it, Mercury Retrograde palette. Yeah, I broke down. I knew after I kept looking at it kept viewing it, kept <laughs> watching videos on it. You know, there's going to be that one video that just sent me over the edge and yeah, I bought it. And I will be testing that mug out, okay? Okay, for the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Too Faced uh, powder foundation. I have like 5 million brushes and I use the same 6 favorite brushes <laughs> every time I do my face. And I'm still constantly buying brushes. What kind of sense does that make? zero zero dollars and zero cents okay so I'm curious to know who are some of you guys' favorite like beauty gurus you know like the larger youtubers I'm always curious like who are you guys watching because you know there's only a few that I watch I really don't watch a lot of large youtubers 
I spend my time watching a lot of small or medium sized YouTubers. So I'm always curious as far as the larger YouTubers, like who's still watching them, you know? Who's still checking them out? Okay, for bronze, I'm going to use my Morphe Glamour Bronze today. Never go wrong with my Glamour Bronze. It bronzes me right up. Okay, for blush and highlight, I'm going into my Colored Rain and Power Collab palette. This palette is bomb, okay? I have my day one. Okay, pigment. Hello. Don't buy this blush if you don't like color, okay? Don't do it, don't do it. So now I'm gonna go into the highlight. Now I put on way too much highlight, but when you have a rainbow eye, is it really possible to put on too much highlight? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is, but. Yes, that's that wet, wet. <laughs> that's that wet, wet. Okay, I think I'm gonna do purple eyeliner. So I pulled out my LA Girl as well as my ColourPop to see which one I like better. I like the ColourPop one better. I'm gonna use this one over here, which is the ColourPop. Okay, back to the palette. Now, I think I kind of want to stick to the purple on my lower lash line. I really like that. I was going to put blue, but I really like the purple. So I'm going to go in with the matte purple shade, which is Hocus, and just put a little bit of that on my lower lash line. Yeah, this purple is really pretty, but it does take a little bit of building up. Okay, and for the inner corner on my lower lash line, I think I want to go into this really pretty shimmery blue. It's called Jabba. Is it Jabba? Yeah. <laughs> so Jibba and Jabba. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Jabba and just put a little bit of that on the inner portion of my lower lash line. Very pretty. Okay, you guys, I really, really like that. So I'm going to go in with my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. Okay, you guys, so for lips, I'm going in with my Clean Color Madly Matte Metallic Lip Gloss in this blue color. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the number in the description box if you are interested in this crazy blue lipstick. Hello. <laughs> Hello. At this point, you guys can't possibly come to this channel and be surprised at whatever you might see. <laughs> see me put on my face, okay? I love it. I love it. Yo, look what I just got in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is the final look, you guys, and I must say, I am actually feeling 
this rainbow eye and this bold lid. When I sat down today, I kept saying, I don't want to do a rainbow eye. I'm not in the mood for a rainbow eye. I don't feel like doing a rainbow eye, but I'm cool with the rainbow eye today. Okay, so first impression thoughts on this Sample Beauty Equalizer palette. It's a nice palette. Honestly, it is. It's a nice palette. The colors that I use showed up. They're vibrant. Very, very pretty. True to the color in the pan. Um, you know, purples can be a little tricky sometimes. You know, they can. And as you saw, I was able to build it up. So it's really hard for me to complain about that, that it wasn't just like bam when I put it on my eye because it's very buildable, easily blendable. So I really can't complain about that too much. Um, the shimmers are not as shimmy as I thought they would be <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, they're not as shimmy as I thought they would be. They're really just kind of like, mm, I don't know how to describe it, really. A satin, maybe? Maybe satins more so than shimmers, in my opinion. Maybe some of the other ones are more, more shimmy than the ones that I used, but yeah, for the most part, they're more like, kind of like satins to me than shimmers. So, I mean, it's okay though, I don't mind it. Overall, I think it is a nice palette. I think it's about 40 bucks. Is it worth the 40 bucks? Maybe, maybe. I can't say that it's not, cause I like the fact that they do have, you know, black, white, and brown in here. Um, this beautiful burgundy shade for the red. It's not like that super duper bright, bright red. It's like a burgundy shade. So someone who wants to use this for everyday looks or to do like a simple smoky eye or something, they can do that with this palette as well and have the option to do this. <laughs> okay, so the tans and the white and the black. I like that versatility in this palette. So as far as quality goes, um, I like it. I do. I like it. I don't know that I would say that this would be the first palette that I would grab if I wanted to do a rainbow look. Probably wouldn't be because I have so many other more pigmented palettes, but it is a nice palette. I won't say it's not. No complaints. It is decent. So yeah, that's it for this first impression video on this Sample Beauty palette. Hope you guys had a good time creating this rainbow look with your girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave all the products in the description box if you're curious and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!